In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use Elementor Page Builder with Page Generator Pro. You'll first of all need the Elementor plugin installed and active, and then navigate to Elementor settings, and you'll need to make sure that the content groups post type is enabled here. We'll click Save Changes. We can then navigate to Page Generator Pro's content groups, and we'll go ahead and click Add New Content Group, where you can see the familiar WordPress interface along with the Edit with Elementor button here. If you're using the classic editor, you'll see a slightly different interface, but once again, we can see in our content group, the edit with Elementor button is displayed this time below the main title. We'd firstly recommend configuring the content group itself before editing it in Elementor. So we'll go ahead and define a title. In this case, we're going to have the service keyword and we'll also use the location keyword as well. We'll define the permalink and we can go ahead and define any other settings that we might need, such as the featured image, any geolocation data, the post type we want to generate and other settings in the sidebar. Once you're happy with the settings that you've configured, click publish and then we can go ahead and click edit with Elementor and we'll see the familiar page builder on screen and we can go ahead and start building our content group. So we'll add header and some content, for example. You'll notice that the keyword autocomplete dropdown may not always appear in every field. If that's the case, we recommend that you reference the documentation and your keyword configuration to understand the keywords that you want to use here. We can see in some of the widgets, you will see this autocomplete dropdown. So we'll go ahead and add some basic content. Once we're happy with everything, we can click publish. And to generate pages or tests from this, you'll need to click the top left icon and click exit to WordPress. You can do this at any time to go back to the settings for the content group. And we'll go ahead and produce a test by clicking the test button at the bottom. And we can see we get our test page generated and we've got the service and the first location, the title and the content there. If you have an existing design that you'd like to use as a content group from which to generate all of your pages, we can go ahead and find the page we're looking for in WordPress and click the import as content group option. This will bring the page into the content group system. And once again, we recommend clicking edit first of all, instead of edit with Elementor, start by updating your title, save our content group, and then we can go into Elementor itself for the content group. And once again, we can start to walk through the content on screen, entering the keywords where we would like them to be. So in this example, we will use the service and location C name keyword here. And perhaps we want to put some more keywords here as well. Once we're happy with our changes, we can go ahead and click publish. And once again, in the top left corner, click the icon to exit to WordPress and we'll scroll down and click our test. We can see here that the heading is updated and this is a really good example of using the test system. I've made a typo here. I've got the syntax wrong. So I can go ahead, edit my content group in Elementor, make the change that I need. And if I'm happy with everything at that point, we can go ahead and generate all of our pages. So I'll go into here, take out that errant character, click publish, and just to sanity check what we've done, we'll exit to WordPress. Once again, we'll scroll down, we'll click test, and we'll inspect the test page to see that this time we've got that correct, and we can see that the location is updated successfully. If you have your existing Elementor design as a template within Elementor, we can also go ahead and use this within the content group. In this example, we have a template called landing page template example. If we edit this in Elementor, we'll see our familiar design. This time we've created this as a template. Perhaps we had this before we added Page Generator Pro to the website, and we'd like to use this in our content groups. So to go ahead and do that, we'll once again go into Page Generator Pro, Generate Content. We'll add a new content group. We'll once again define the title and the location. We can edit other settings as necessary. We'll click Publish, and then we'll tap Edit with Elementor. Now, instead of adding various widgets to build the content group, we can click the folder icon here, navigate to My Templates, and we'll see a list of templates that are installed on your website. We want the landing page example, so we'll click Insert. We'll apply the settings as well. And after a few moments, we can see that the template has been imported 
into the content group. Once again, we can walk through and make changes. So we can add our service keyword and our location keyword here, and we'll do the same for the text below. Once we're happy, we can click publish. And as we've done with the other methods, we can exit to WordPress, taking us back to the content group where we can scroll down and produce a test. And we can see that the test looks correct. So at this point, if we're happy, we could go ahead and generate all of our pages via the browser. Another feature that we can utilize in Elementor are the global widgets. Now these are widgets that apply their content to any Elementor pages, or in this case, content groups that they have been inserted to. We'll illustrate with an example where we have two content groups, the first being our service and location, and the second is a separate content group where we want to generate testimonials. But in both cases, we want the heading to be the same. So if we go ahead and edit the first content group in Elementor, we'll see a basic example where we have the header and some content. This would be more detailed in, in your real world use case. But in my second content group, if I navigate back, I'd like to have the same heading, but my content will be different. Now I could go ahead and add the heading widget as we did in the first content group and then go and add the text that will be different for the second content group. But if in the future I decide that I want to globally edit this header to apply to both of my content groups, it would be better to have this as a global element. So we'll go ahead and right click the edit icon here and we'll save this as a global. Now if you have an existing global widget, you could import it here, but we'll save this one and we'll call it global header example. We'll click save. And this has now become a global as evidenced by the different color. If we then reload the second content group that we're working on, instead of adding the heading here, we can go ahead and add the global header. So we'll go and drag and drop that. We'll then go back and add our text and we'll say customer testimonials about our service and we'll go ahead and click publish. We'll now demonstrate how keywords are supported in global widgets. We'll firstly edit the first content group and it's important to make sure that your store keywords option is enabled here. This is required otherwise the keywords that we specified in the global widget won't work. We can see that that works so we'll scroll down, we'll generate a test and we can see here that we've got the keyword replacement. Now if we go and edit this page in Elementor we'll see that we have our global header and it has the keywords in there. So what Page Generator Pro does in the background is it identifies that you've specified keywords in a global element for a page that's been generated and it will dynamically replace these with the specific service and location keywords for that page. If we go back and generate a few pages as an example, so let's generate five, make sure to click save and then click generate via browser. We see our five pages are generated. We'll go ahead and we'll preview the first three as an example. And here we can see the global widget has had its keywords replaced with kitchen design and the location. We can see the same has happened with the second one, the third one, and so on. If we then go to our second content group that has the same global widget, let's go ahead and generate our five pages here. We'll click generate via browser. And we can see that our testimonial pages have been generated. And if we open the first three, once again, we can see that the global widget header has had its keywords replaced. We have different content because we specified different content in the content group. And we can see that the same has been applied for the other generated pages as well. If you're using dynamic elements, we have versions of these available in Elementor itself. You can scroll down and you'll find a section called Page Generator Pro where all of our available dynamic elements are listed. You can just drag and drop them into your page and you'll see the same settings in the sidebar as you would in Gutenberg or the classic editor. If you've defined a page layout in Elementor, it's really important to define this both in Elementor and the content group. So on the screen, we're editing our content group here. And in this example, I'd like to use the Elementor full width. It's also important that on the template option in the content group, I select the same layout as I did in Elementor. This will ensure that the generated pages honor the layout that you've selected. Finally, if you encounter any issues using Elementor with Page Generator Pro, we'd highly recommend reviewing the documentation as we have a common issues section that covers many of the common problems that you may face when using Elementor with Page Generator Pro.